Go to the Tools panel of Illustrator and select the Line Segment tool. With that selected, you can apply it very quickly. And the default is actually a very thin line with no stroke. Now I can set it obviously with some stroke, something like 40, maybe set it to 100. You can vary. However, it's live. Live, in this case, it's always been live. You can always modify it. Just go over here to the various selection tools, direct selection tool or selection tool. You can manipulate it in all kinds of ways, like move it around. You can also go direct selection tool and still move it around. All those sort of things. However, what you have got is you've got these properties. So I'm just going to undo now and I'm going to go back. Properties. And you can modify it. You can say, you know what? I don't want that position to be there. I want it to be at 100. So you can just enter that. You can also change the fill. Everything is available via the properties panel. You got here width as well. Doesn't do anything, completely pointless. But you can put a value in here, say 500. Just reduce down. It's all live and accessible via this. If you don't want it live anymore and you just want it turned into a standard fill, object and expand. Click OK and now you've got this design here and you can of course manipulate that design as a standard rectangle basically. However, what you can also do with this, got the line tool. Line tool can create some very interesting designs. Simply just drag like that, go up here to the stroke, maybe there. And also you can say, give it a width profile. So let's make it a bit bigger so you can see it. 60, something like that. All just set there so you can just change that line. The line is still there. It's still just two points. That's all it is. You can also manipulate it. You've got the width tool. Just go over here with the width tool and then you can manipulate this. So all kinds of different designs can be created from a very basic line. You've also got the opportunity to change and add more with the appearance panel. That's in the window menu and appearance. You can go over here, right click, and you can say add new stroke. So add another stroke to that and you can see a stroke added there. Obviously this one is a fairly large one, so let's just reduce it down maybe to 20 or something. So make it 20 and you can turn around and say, well, I want it a different color. And you can see now you've got this thin line through that design. It's still all live. You can still manipulate it over here. Change all the settings, change the angle, maybe push it to 300, etc. But you can also manipulate it here. You can also, with this line selected, you can go over here. And you know what? I'll give it a width profile as well. Maybe go to the width tool and I can manipulate that. So I can create that sort of design. All number of designs can be created from that basic design. But also what you can do, go to effects. So effect and still go down here, say path. You've got various options here. Maybe distort, trend, zigzag. So you can just create a nice zigzag design. And you can see you can distort that design using this. And it's still live. You can still see it here. Appearance, you've got here line. That's the entry it says line up here, even though it does say path there. Maybe you should say line there as well. But that's the key thing. As soon as you decide, let's just remove that now. Go over here. It's always a line. Line over here. Now, if you go to the layers, if you go to window and down to layers, Again, you can see, expand that out, and you can see that line there. It says line. You can expand it. Just go to object, expand, click OK. And as soon as you do that, you can see now you just got a path. It's lost its live facilities. Though, be honest, most of the features are still available here. You can still modify these and probably add even more. Well, that's the live line segment tool. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.